Is it that time again? Well, I think where we left off is I was telling you about how Brother Fox did finally catch that Brother Rabbit. Yes, sir. He did. Absolutely. Brother Fox had this idea, and he got some tar and mixed it with turpentine till it was really, really sticky, and he shaped it into a form which he called a tar baby. And then he put a floppy hat. Well, yeah, something, something like this hat here. Put the floppy hat right on that tar baby and put it right next to the road that he knew Brother Rabbit would be coming down. <laughs> then he went underneath a bush and he just lay low. He didn't have to wait long. Because along come Brother Rabbit just as free and as uh, feeling good as he could. And he came along and he saw that tar baby. Well, he just stopped and stared. Then he realized that it wasn't proper to stare. Oh, uh, howdy there. But tar baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox, he lay low. <clears throat> um, a, a fine morning we're having. But still, the tar baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox, he lay low. I, I, you must be a little hard of hearing, so I'll speak a little louder. <clears throat> a fine day we're having. Good morning. But still, Tar Baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox, he lay low. Wow, you must be kind of stuck up. That's what you are. You're just stuck up. I should teach you a lesson. But still, Tar Baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox, he lay low. Brother Rabbit just walked right up to that tar baby and says, Now you listen to me. If you don't act proper like and greet a feller, then I'm going to take this pole right here and I'm just going to bust you wide open. Now I will. You just watch. I'll do that now. Howdy. But still, tar baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox, he lay low. Well, Brother Rabbit gave him a second chance and then gave him a third and a fourth. But after a while, he just lost his patience. He reared back and he took his paw and and he went right into the side of Tar Baby's face and it was stuck. Let go of my paw. Let, let, now, 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 you let now. Now I've lost my temper. I have lost my temper. I was just trying to teach you a lesson, but now you've gone too far. You watch out or I'll hit you again. The tar baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox, <laughs> he, he, he is so, he's so tickled inside, but he just lay low. Kaboom! And he hit him with the other paw. I, and it's stuck, and he let go of me, or I'll, or I'll kick you wide open. Tar Baby doesn't say anything. Brother Fox, he lay low. Well, Burr Rabbit kicked him with one foot, and then with the other one, and all four were stuck. Oh, he said, you let go of me right now, young man. You just let go of me, or I'll hit you with my head. Our baby doesn't say anything. And Brother Fox is rolling back and forth, but he still lay low. With that, Brother Rabbit hit him with his head, and now he was totally stuck. Well, Brother Fox, he come out of underneath his bush, and he walks along the path like he was just as innocent 
as a new flower on a summer day. Well, howdy, Brother Rabbit. But now Brother Rabbit doesn't say anything. Oh, I think you are stuck up. And with that, Brother Fox fell back on his back and laughed and laughed as if that was the funniest joke anyone had ever told in the world. He laughed and held his stomach and he laughed some more until there was no more laugh in him. Then he said, now, look at you, Brother Rabbit. You, no one invited you to talk to Brother Tarbaby? No, no one invited you to. You just did it on your own. No one asked you to straighten him out? No, sir. Not, but just like typical of you, putting your nose where it doesn't belong, now you have got stuck. <laughs> and he laughed again. He laughed and laughed until tears were coming out of his eyes. He said, now, Brother Rabbit, I'm going to invite you to supper. Oh, I insist you must come. You're the guest of honor. And with that, he laughed and laughed. <laughs> well, that's how Brother Fox caught Brother Rabbit. Oh, you think Brother Rabbit got loose, do you? Well, some do say that uh, Brother Bear came along and helped Brother Rabbit out, but no, I, I, I don't think that's what happened. No, mm, not at all. Well, okay, okay, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. You come back next week, and I'll tell you how Brother Rabbit got out of that situation. We'll see you next week. <laughs>